because you are watching now. Them is your people. Tonight's special presentation is proudly presented by Bomberito Automotive Group. Hey, what do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary the King of Hospitality. I can take you where you want to be. I get to take you to who you need to see. And right now, we're at the Art Fair in Clayton. Girl, what you know about some art? Oh, I love art. Ooh. And I love collecting glass. Ooh, you know, glasses. you saying? Yes. Okay, listen. Yeah, it's a different kind of glass over here I like. Oh, those kind of different kind of glasses, yes. right? So, like the blown glasses. Yes, it is. Like oh, that's right pretty. Here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to go save up some money for this. <laughs> Girl, what's your name? It's Regina. Hey, Regina, how's everything going? Oh, good. Are you seeing some good stuff out here today? Yes, I did. Okay, who's this with Regina today? My name's Tanzania. Are you all related? Yeah. Who is this, your mom? Yes. Okay, so listen, mom is make, giving you a hint, girl. Christmas is coming. You see that? Take a yeah, picture. No, yeah, no, Let me see. That. No, you just got a name with a card on it, girl. Stop it. Stop it. I need that. You need that's that one? That's what that would. That's what that would. Yeah, that's what but I, I thought you liked glasses, mama. Mm -hmm. hey. She likes it all. <laughs> she likes, she it, likes all. it all. Hey, listen, what is it about art that when you go to everyone's different homes, they got just different kind of pieces? I remember growing up, it was always said that Art makes a statement. What statement does art make to you? It just makes me, I mean, like, wood makes me feel just, like, proud, you know, just, it's just something about woodwork. It's just, I don't know. So when you go to people's houses and they got hardwood floors and hardwood uh, doors, you just be grabbing on them. Ooh, no, 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 the wood. No, no, no. Let me get out here and smell this wood. No, uh-uh, no. You said this no. up to you. No. What it do? Hardwood floors. As long as they got their shine to them and they clean and they not all dull and ugly. We want to send good. a shout out to everybody right now who has hardwood floors, who takes care of them. And if you got hardwood floors, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. And that's supposed to be all dirty and dingy. Yeah. And not, she took the word out of my mind. What is nasty? <laughs> nasty. Hey, what do you say? What do you say? We're at the art fair in Clayton. We're getting it in. We're having fun. And guess what? We're going to make sure we stay away from them nasty floors. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. I'm at the Clayton Art Fair. Guess what? I got one of our artists. Who do I have with us? Richard Wilson. Hey, man. Richard, what's going on? Uh, nothing much. About to break down. Okay. Get ready to head Stop, back Richard. You need to tell us all that. It's television. Okay. Okay. Now, people that don't need to know you about to break down. <laughs> okay. Where are you from? Uh, Greenville, North Carolina. So you came all the way up from North Carolina. Yes, sir. You know what I love about it? What? It? You're ready to break down now, but guess what? You got some pieces. Look at this. Yeah. Tell us about this over here. Uh, this is Come one of my over here too. Come okay. Come this is one of my shadow series pieces okay. this is called this is actually my latest piece this is um uh jack johnson okay and this is uh where the young people are standing in the shadow of these uh trailblazers wow. jack johnson was the first heavyweight champion of the world right and uh this is the fight of the century it happened july the 4th 1910 oh, wow. and this is uh an original pastel that i did and this is the original newspaper from that okay. fight Wow, so yeah. this is all your work? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. How important is the frame? Because a lot of times people buy art or they have some pictures and they just get any kind of frame. Tell me about the framework. Uh, the frame is important. I mean, it's just like um, dressing yourself up. You want to look nice, so you dress your artwork up nice. And, and I do my own framing, so I make sure that I do very nice framing that's going to complement my work. Oh, wow. And I also use museum glass, okay. so everything you get from me is going to be museum quality. I love it. Yep. I love it. Look at some of this. Look over here. Yeah. Want to see some of this? Tell us what we're looking at here. Uh, this is um, some of my landscapes, and I'm from North Carolina, and this is the first snow that we had in North Carolina this year. Okay. And every year I try to do the first snow. I oh, do wow. at least one or two paintings oh, wow. of the first snow that we have, and this is the two pieces I did. This now, do you do, do you do that with a bottle and a glass of wine? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> but I listen to some jazz. Uh, though, while you I'm listen to the jazz. Yeah. Now, what yeah. about over here? Know, How cool piece. is this? Now, yeah. this piece is an award-winning piece. This is called Faithful Journey. This piece. Um, Actually, all the 
the work that I do, all the girls and my paintings are my daughters and the boys are my nephews. Oh, wow. And this is my oldest daughter and my oldest nephew. Yeah. And I grew up two houses down from this railroad track in a little small town called Kanita, North Carolina. Okay. And the name of this piece is Faithful Journey, but it's based off me stepping out on faith as a full-time artist. You know, when you first make that leap, yeah. you, you ask yourself, man, did I make the right decision? That's and that's right. that look, that's that voice I was having with myself yeah. um, when him looking back saying, man, did I make the right decision? But when God started to open up all these doors, like, wow. um, you know, for me, it just showed me that God is getting in control. And that's that voice that started talking to me, said, we're going to be all right because God is in control. Well, listen, you've had an opportunity to be in this game for how long? Uh, for about, I mean, all my life, actually, wow. I, yeah. ever since I was about eight years old. Eight years old mm -hmm. and you was painting, right? Yep. Have you ever had anybody who purchased uh, some paintings from you that helped you get on your way and you were like, wow? Yep, a lot of people. Um, I had um, Beyonce's mother, uh, Tina Knowles. No. She, she purchased one of my originals. Okay. And uh, the Tennis Hall of Fame purchased my painting. Okay, okay. And recently, uh, the movie Barbershop, the yeah. next cut, the, um, the third version. Yeah. Uh, well, if you ever look at that movie, check out Ice Cube's house, his whole whole entire house in the movie is decorated with my work. They purchased five of my paintings for the movie. Oh my God, did they give them back or they kept uh, no, them? No, they purchased them. Could you call them and tell them the king need them now? Hey, I, I might can do that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, but you got yeah. something over here. Yeah, I do. What was it? What was it? Uh, well, this is um, Hank Aaron. He oh, Hank Aaron. Oh, wow. Look at that. He invited me to his house. He signed my original painting and he commissioned me to do two paintings for him. So I'm working on two paintings for Hank right now. Okay. And uh, I also made history in North Carolina. I'm the first African American artist to ever have a painting hanging in any courthouse in the state of North Carolina. I oh did the God. portrait of George Henry White. He is the last former slave to become a congressman. Okay. And the house that he lived in is right behind this courthouse where my painting is now hanging. Okay, wow, wow, wow. And then this is Gladys Knight. She has one of my pieces. Oh, wow. Okay. And this is Beyonce's mom, Tina Knowles. She purchased my painting, Stage Fright. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And then this is a scene from the movie Barbershop. All, these are my two pieces here. They purchased these five paintings. And I do have prints of these on my website. Oh, wow. Yep. Hey, listen, you all. This is what I'm talking about. This is what it's all about. He's got the proof. He's got the portrait. Now all he's doing is waiting on you. Hey, the journey all the yep. way here to St. Louis. Has sure St. Louis did. been good to you? It's been great to me. Oh, yep. Did you really yep. say this? It's been yep. great. I St. Louis. Oh, my God. And you know what I want you all to do? I want you all to be good to this artist. Yep. Tell them your name again. Uh, my name is Richard Wilson. Richard Wilson. And tell yep. them how they can find you and look at some of your pieces. Okay. You can find me at uh, my website is richardwilsonart.com. Mm -hmm. And I'm also on Instagram as Richard Wilson Art mm -hmm. and I'm on Instagram at Richard Wilson Fine Arts and Graphics Incorporated. All right. I want you all to check this brother out. I want you all to support him. I want to let him know that he's our people. And when you all go and when you follow him, say you saw him on the Them Your People show. Yeah. He might give y'all a discount. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nearly 50 years ago, in a rural community outside of St. Louis, a car dealership was launched with the idea that Bomberito is where Price sells cars. That heritage to give every customer the best price has grown into a regional powerhouse with multiple brands at all price levels and 12,000 new and pre-owned vehicles. At the Bomberito Automotive Group, we'll have your car at your price. I'm Frank Bomberito. Let me earn your business today at Bomberito.com, where Price sells cars. What do you say what it says, Mr. Gary? I'm at the Arts Fair in Clayton. Guess what? I'm just doing a drive, walk by on these two chicks, these two ladies, these two beautiful girls. Who do I have with me? A uh, Terry Allen. Hey, Terry Allen. Mary Sanner. Mary Sanner. Come and cuddle up with me, ladies. Oh, sure. What are y'all over here talking about? What's going We're on? We're talking about moms and kids, cool sculpting work, and just life in general. Does to you? Wait a minute. Are you all mom? About cool sculpting. Okay. What yeah. about cool sculpting? Tell me about that. Cool sculpting is non-invasive fat reduction. It's amazing. Oh my God. Yeah. Did you have some cool sculpting? Yes, I did. I'm well, the girl, sales rep for it. Oh my so God. Yes, turn I around. I want you to step out here on the runway. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, is this not cool, baby? You show it sculpted good, too. Yes, I know. Oh, my yeah. God. Did you get some, too? Three C-sections in. Now I want that, too. Oh, Look my God. That. Step That's up. Step okay. up, girl. You no, still no, work no. the wrong way. Look this, at this. This is going to be the before picture. Oh, my God. This is the before picture. Hey, listen, you all. This is what it's all about. Taking the time to make time. Taking the time to listen to other people and see what they've got going on. And you know what you might find? You might find... You need some cool sculpting too. Yeah, you 
I'm just saying it's a good thing. Hey, listen, you all are talking about kids, too. I heard you. What about yes. kids? I love my kids. I saw my stepkids here, my real kids. I love oh my kids. Oh, my God. Six kids. Yeah, um, six kids. I didn't give birth to them all. But they're all still your kids. Yes, they okay. are. I just saw one right there. Oh, my yes. God. Just saw one right there. i tell you what I see right there. I see fun. I see happiness. I see friends. So what do you say? What do you say? It's time for you to get out. Holidays are coming. Make some friends. Go back and renew some relationships. It's all about them, your people. Because them, your people. Okay? Ha, 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 ha. Okay. What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. I'm at the Arts Fair in Clayton, darling. We're hanging out, having a ball, y'all. Look what we have over here. Let me tell y'all something. When you have your babies who go into these stores, right? Stop letting them run around picking up stuff, right? Next thing you know, they want to break it. Bam, break it. Bam. We got our man over here. Who's with us, sir? Jim. Jim, what is all this fun about over here? Well, this is our work. My wife and I, Renee, oh work God. together okay, to create. Get up here, Renee. All right. Renee, this is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Hold this for me, you all. Okay. I already see what my favorite piece is. Oh my God! Is this a statement? Does this say beautiful? Oh my God! Look at that! Look at that! Thank you. Look at the detail. Look over here. Thank you. And I'm loving this, Renee. You see that? Thank you. Oh my God! Now these are statement pieces. Absolutely. These are pieces that when you set them out at home, I would imagine this could be a nice dining room. Sure. It right. could be a nice library. It could be a nice living room. I don't know if I put it in a great room because so much stuff happens. You might have to uh, move it a lot. What would you do? What would you recommend? Well, I try to find some really good light. Some light? Okay. Some sunlight's great. Uh -huh. Otherwise, sunlight's great. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, artificial lighting from above would from be great. From above. And mm -hmm. I see you guys have the lights going right. on here, too. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Look at this. This is so simplistic, right? But so beautiful. Thank you. So lightweight. Uh, how long does it take to make something like this? Well, they the pieces evolve over a week or so. Okay, okay. And so, see, you get the nice shadows going. Yeah, 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 yeah. But wait a minute. What about these pieces here? Look at this, Renee. Oh, Renee, Renee, Renee. Tell us what we have here, Renee. Little glass birds. Oh, little glass birds. Just to birds. make you happy. Just to make you happy. Just something that's so beautiful what she's looking at, too. You Cute. like that? I like that, too. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. And look at this big, pretty piece over here, Renee. Look at this, you all. Oh, isn't that nice? Now, that's a statement. Right. You put that out right there, and you know what that says? Mm -hmm. It says, do not touch. Right. Keep your kids away from this. <laughs> that's what it says, doesn't it, Rita? You know, we have a box for that. Would you like me to wrap it up? Uh, you, yeah, I want you to wrap it up. <laughs> right. And you want you, you're on TV now. You're going to give it away? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, wrap it up, Renee. You do that. And look at this. I like this, too. Thank it you. It reminds you of what? So like the black and white, the zebra print, almost. What, what do you, what well, you our work is really all about where we live, which is a, a wild wetland. Okay. So it's okay. all about the water and okay. the grasses and okay. movement. And okay. there are trout in the ponds. And, oh, wow. Okay. It's about that. I love it. Thank I you. love it. Well, I tell you what, tell everybody how they can go online and find you. Come on back in here with your wife. Jim, well, tell, her. tell everybody how they can find you, Jim. JimAndRenee.com. Yeah, it's very easy. Jim and Renee with two E's, dot com. Um, and, and they can view you guys and see all the stuff that you got? They can s certainly see examples of our work. All okay. of our pieces are one of a kind. Oh, wow. So when they're sold, they're gone. Okay. But we're making more work all the time. Okay, I love it. I love so, it. Okay. And we have a Facebook presence as well. If okay. uh, someone were to research Engelbretson Art, Facebook.com slash Engelbretson. Long name. Are y'all from St. Louis? No, we're from Wisconsin. Okay, so you're from Wisconsin. Okay. So Engelbretson Art, and uh, then you'll get more current information, some videos. Okay. Um, Okay, well, I'll tell you what, it's all about the current information. It's all about the current state of art. And you know what? It's people like you all who are keeping art alive. So thank you. Thank you. Okay? Thanks okay. For <laughs> it's it's people. Okay. At Harris Stove State University, you can take up to 16 credit hours for the same rate as a 12 credit hour load. Don't let the rising cost of college bog you down. Harris Stowe State University, the most affordable bachelor's degree in the state of Missouri.
What do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary, the king of hospitality. Why am I the king of hospitality? Because you said so. With over 30 years of experience in customer service and hospitality, I can take you where you want to be. And guess what? I even get to take you to who you need to see. Look at these people. Now, they stand up here looking all fresh. They stand up here looking like, what's going on? Well, I tell you what's going on. What's going on? It is naturally going on. Who do we have with us? My name is Chris Simpson, uh, CEO of the St. Louis Natural Hair and Black Culture Expo. Now, wait a minute, just one second, Chris. When you say the CEO of the natural hair, take a moment, take a pause for the cause. Tell us what that means. Uh, I'm the owner, the founder well, of the St. Louis Natural Hair and Black Culture Expo. See, let me tell y'all something. This is how people come on the show and get it confused. I was asking you to tell me about what it means about natural hair. Oh, okay. I ain't said nothing about who the owner, man. We Got know you running things up in here. Up here, talking, I'm the CEO. <laughs> I'm talking about what is natural hair. Like, for instance, right here, ma'am, come over here for a second. What's your name? Alma Grinston. Hi, Miss Alma. How Hi. you doing? I'm wonderful. Natural How hair, you? natural darling. It is. Turn around. Let's see. Now, you want me to believe that you just woke up this morning. See, look at your girl. You know you woke up and you put a pressing comb or something up in the air. And these eyelashes not natural either. But let me tell you all where we are with the natural hair show. Tell us all about it, Chris. Well, I definitely wanted to start it off. Uh, the St. Louis Natural Hair is sponsored by Megalux Chris, Photo Booth. stop it. Stop it, Chris. I didn't ask you nothing about who the sponsors was. I, I'm finna get don't to you it. know I'm going to get to it, man? Let me do me. I'm going to let you do you. You don't see me coming up here in the show trying to I'm about put your booth over here, put your booth over there. Let me do me. Y'all stop coming on my show trying to clown me. I digress. I'll come back. <laughs> Tell us, man, what is this all about? It's all about um, black culture, man. Black we got uh, black economics, um, bringing, you know, giving more culture um, effect here in St. Louis. Yeah. Um, you know, so we got um, natural hair education. You got yeah. a lot of people who've lost hair, yeah. um, looking to get more in information and education on how to get their hair grown. That's right. That's um, right. And then we also have uh, we have wig distributors as well here, and, okay. and uh, weave distributors as well. Okay, I so, tell you what. Yep. Speaking of the weave distributors, excuse me, ladies, could y'all come in for a second, please? We want to be clowning. No, y'all, no, don't, don't, don't worry, y'all. Y'all not gonna clown me. What's up? Did we talk? We were just having a little conversation yep. about the weave distributors and all that. Not the, not, 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 not the child had a weave, but if you did, girl, tell, tell me why you out here today. Y'all look good too. Well, I'm well, personally. I need out to turn here. around to the camera. Okay, I'm personally out here today because I'm working. Okay, okay. Where I'm you a part at? of the expo. Okay, now what are you doing with the expo? I'm the writer. I'm You're Dr. G. I'm the writer. Dr. G. Dr. G. Let me tell y'all something. I got the doctor with me, baby. Hey, listen, how important is it for education when you get a chance to give a highlight and write out? What is it about? Well, we really are trying to educate people to understand why it's important that they go natural. Uh -huh. But in addition to that, if people are not ready for that, we uh -huh. try to encourage them to at least come out and okay. experience the expo because yes, it's a lot of more things here other than just natural hair. Exactly. It's about black culture. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Who do we have over here? My name is Danielle. Hello, what that man, girl, when you do all this? My name is Danielle. Danielle. Hello, Danielle, darling. Hello. Conspicuous. Oh, Miss Conspicuous. What is this all yes. about for you? I am actually one of the expo models. Okay. okay. Um, I'm here for the experience, as she said, the culture, okay. um, wake, waking up people to waking what's new. People. Yes. For natural hair. Natural hair. Now, y'all y'all know how we do on the show. We don't make fun of anyone. We have fun of everyone. Why y'all going to talk about y'all with the natural hair? Is this naturally yours? What's this up? Here you. Oh, this Oh. And so this part is protecting. Oh, that's what it is. Is. Exactly. oh my God. Well, let me tell you something. Where there are ladies who are models, where there are ladies who are the writers, where there's a gentleman who makes sure that everything's going good, he's the founder of it, there must be some sponsors. There must be some sponsors. There must be some people who said, you know what, I got your back. And see, look at him. See, now, now, now he want to move him over to me. You understand what I'm saying? Who do we have with us? How you doing? My name is Travis Blevins with Megalux Photo Booth. Okay, tell me all about it, Mega, 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 Mega Lux Photo Booth. Uh -huh, yeah, it it's about? a mouthful. It's a luxury photo booth company. You know, we work all weddings, graduation parties, birthdays, really anything you want to bring us in. And we, we bring the, the best photo booth that we can, wow. the best in, the, in St. Louis, you know. Right. And you'll see for yourself with our props, with our setup, with yeah. the things we can do at the photo booth, you know. And 
And you all one of the sponsors of this? Yes, sir. Just because y'all got a photo booth? No, we came to just show uh -huh. everybody a good time. Uh -huh. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? And take care of people. Somebody at home right now is saying, you know what? I need to up my game. I need to take this to the next level. Lots of holiday parties are about to happen. Lots of family gatherings are about to happen. They can need to put a little extra spice in it. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. And it's fun. It's the life of the party every oh, time we're there. Oh, my God. It's fun. <laughs> it's the life of the party. I tell you, what else is the life of the party? Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. Are you finished over there? Yes, sir. Then you might want to come over here yes, so we can talk to you. Who do we have, man? Hi, I'm Ahmad. Ahmad hey, McCall. Ahmad. Yeah. You one of the good. sponsors, too? Yeah, I'm a media sponsor. Okay. Uh, I'm the publicist for Swing Magazine. Okay, that's the publicist for Swing Magazine. Yes, sir. Tell everybody about Swing Magazine. Uh, well, Swing Magazine is a beauty publication here yeah. in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. The only black booty publication here in St. Louis. The only black booty Beauty, beauty publication you in, quick, man. in St. Louis. Yeah, I talk a little fast, but it. are you from St. Louis? No, I'm from Queens. From Queens? Yes, sir. New York? Yes, sir. Yes, That's sir. What it is? Yeah, yeah. But I'm I here now, and I, I'm. Hold up! I was getting here. my LL Cool J on. I okay. represent Queens. She was raised out of Compton. No, Brooklyn. <laughs> Come get your people. It's all good. Hey, man. <laughs> so when you when you come here, right? Yeah. Uh huh. And you see what St. Louis is trying to do. Yeah. Okay, what do you have to say about it? How's it looking? So uh, I consider St. Louis like the middle child. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why I started Swing. Uh -huh. The East Coast will be the oldest. You know, things happen there first. Yeah. The West Coast get away with murder. Look, at they're the first people selling marijuana for free. And people forget about the Midwest. And I think that a lot of people here who do work in the beauty industry get recognized in other states. And I wanted to retain that talent. So that's why I started Swing Magazine. It's, okay. a, play, it's a platform for beauty industry pushing the, uh, people to showcase their talents and do what they do here. Right. Um, I wish I had a magazine to show you guys. It's a beautiful publication, okay. high quality. Um, and, you know, the faster St. Louis we get behind Swing Magazine, the faster we can go ahead and, and, and climb this ladder and compete with some of these other states like Atlanta and Chicago and New York and Miami who are doing their thing. Matter of fact, we got one right here. So Bam. here's here's Just the like first, that. Here's the first print copy um, of Swing Magazine. Okay. This is fall 2018. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. I'll look good. Yeah. You want me to hold the mic? I'll hold the mic for you. Please, please do. So what you think? Well, I tell you what. I love the way that it. Wait a minute. What's this right here? So that's Sip and Smoke. That's a uh, editorial page for um, Be the Barber up at uh, Clippers and Shears on Cherokee. Let me tell y'all something. Yes, sir. Be the barber ain't no joke. You want me to tell you why? That's my barber. Get out. What do you say? What do you say? Shut up, B. I see you, man. You're doing your thing. And he told me when he was coming to do this shoot, I think he did it about two weeks ago. Yep, it's been about two weeks. Exactly right. Hey, I tell y'all what, St. Louis is doing it. We're doing it big. But I want to make sure I take a pause for the cause and remind everybody about this. If you go to Colorado, if you go to California, those are states that sipping and smoking is legal. If you live in St. Louis, Missouri, it's not legal yet, people. So y'all need to stop riding, doing all this, and doing it. It ain't legal yet. I digress. Hey, listen, man. This looks really good. It's really sleek. And I tell you what we have to do. We have to make sure that we get behind, and we have to support people who are coming and trying to do something wonderful and great. It's called Swing Magazine. Tell everybody where they can find it. Swing Magazine is going to be distributed to all the barbers, beauty salons, lash booths, estheticians, spas, across the city. I printed up almost 10,000 of these copies wow. and they go out to on Monday. Thought it was Sunday. Every Days week. running together. It's a quarterly publication every three months. Right, right, so right, right, this right, is right. fall. Our winter will be out for January 18 and 19. Okay. Hey, listen, you all. I tell you what, you got it going. I love it. Now come on back over to you, pretty girl. Oh, what you trying to take my book back for? I thought you said it was mine. See, them your people. Listen, when somebody tell you something is yours, hold them to it. He trying to take the book all back. He said he printed up 10,000 uh, publications. Almost, almost. At least I got to have one. Hey, baby. Hi, how what's are going you? On? Nothing much. You are looking sassy and Thank classy. You. Look at you, girl. You got it going on from head to toe. What is it? Faithfully Fresh Apparel. Okay. Faithfully Fresh. Faithfully Fresh it's Apparel. It's so good. Hey, listen. When we come out and when we uh, support something like that, you're one of the sponsors of the show, too. I am, absolutely. Tell me why. Absolutely. Tell me because why. I love Chris and I love Dr. G and I love the cause. I love giving back and being oh my a God. part. You know what I love about you? Yes. You are put together from head to toe. Turn around, darling. Shake your head, darling. I love that, I love that. Now look at you, right? This outfit that you have on is trendy. This is what the young people are wearing, right? This is uh, called chic. Look at this, you got your Coco Chanel on, right? Look at you from head to toe, turn on around. And guess what? We don't have everything out. 
Hold your hand up. Okay, we ain't all do this. Look at this. You see what I'm saying? Hey, what do you say? What do you say? I'm Mr. Gary. We're down here today. We're going to take you out on a journey. Don't try to come sneak back in now. What's up, girl? How you doing? Hey, we're going to take you guys on a journey today. Hey, what? And how can people follow you? How can they get in step for the next one? Uh, you can go to www.stlnaturalhair.com. Expo.com, or you can call 314-899-0401. Give them that number again. 314-899-0401. Hey, what do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary. It's all about the natural hair today. Okay? <laughs> okay. You live local, you work local. So for beverages, why not shop local? Royals Liquor is your local choice for adult beverages. Mention this ad and you'll receive a local discount. $10 off on $100 or more in purchases at Royals Liquor. Hey, what do you say? What do you say? It's Mr. Gary the King of Hostality. I want to send a shout out to everybody watching right now. You know what I want to let you all know? Listen, grown-ups, the young people are watching you. They're watching what you do. You don't believe me? Watch this. I'm walking through the expo hall, minding my business, and this gentleman comes to me. What's your name, sir? Eldrick Hewitt. Eldrick, what did you say to me? I said that she, my daughter really wanted to meet him. Oh, my God. Why your daughter want to meet me? Stop, let me do my show like I do it. I haven't went to your daughter yet, sir. Now, why did your daughter want to meet me? Because she says that you are very famous. Oh, my God. And, and what else? Did she watch my show? Yeah, and she watches your show. And what do you think about her watching my show? I think it's good. Do you watch my show, too? I have watched it. See, let me tell y'all something. That's why you cannot follow these older people. You got to get it's with these young people. Because these older people, they'll watch the show when they get ready. But my young people, hey, girl, what's up? Hey. What's your name, girl? Mariah. Hey, Mariah. Hey, Mariah or Mariah? Mariah. Mariah. Hey, Mariah, you're a pretty girl, too. Tell us what school you go to. Griffin Elementary School. Oh, my God. What grade are you in? Fifth grade. And what you know about Mr. Gary, girl? <laughs> hey, you watch my show? You like my show? Yes. So you was walking, you tell, what'd you tell daddy? That I wanted to meet you. Oh my God, well girl, stop laughing and looking over there. Look at me, girl. Let me tell y'all something. You know why she wanted to meet me? Because I ain't nothing but the truth. And I got enough sense to know it's about these young people. Hey, listen, dads, it's nothing like daddy's little girl, is it? That's right. Oh my God, you, you proud of her? Yes, I am. Oh my God, let me tell you what I'm proud to do. I'm proud to stand here today with this gentleman, this father. Is he a good father? How you know he's a good father, girl? What do you do? Tell me the last time he did something that only a good father would do. He bought me some shoes. He bought you some shoes. Was it the ones you got on down here? No, the others. Ones? It was the other ones. What color was the other one? It was, it was like, it was like pink and pink. yeah. Can, how, wait a minute, and you're so tall. <laughs> Is your mom tall? Cause your daddy short. <laughs> your daddy short. <laughs> hey, look, I'm just having fun. This is what we do. Did daddy buy you this? Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Let me tell y'all something. Being a good dad, I can tell you what I know he did recently. You know what you did recently, Dad? You bought her down here today, man. Y'all spending time together with your family. This is a beautiful thing. Now, who is this? This is my, my youngest daughter. Does she watch me, too? I don't, I don't know. I, I, think she, I think she'd be asleep about that time. Let me ask you something. As she gets older, can you get her in line? I definitely will. Okay, you will, you, definitely. will you have your little sister watch me sometime? Yes. Okay, who's on here? You got a hot call coming in. Who is this? Who is this? Daddy, she got a little boyfriend. What you gonna do about it? Uh, she better not. She better not. I know. She say no. Hey, what do you say? What he says, Mr. Gary, I'm having fun with my people, with the families, hanging out, okay? <laughs> okay.